Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 438. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 431 to 439. Hey, in this trick here, 38, 37, and 39, we're talking about counting working days. The last video we used the net workday function, which is awesome, but it only counted um, work days where Saturday and Sunday wasn't a work day. What if Monday and Tuesday uh, was the holiday, the, the weekend in essence. Uh, network day functions function will not deal with that. So we're going to have to do something pretty tricky here. This has got a lot of tricks in it. All right, the first thing we need to do is since we have a start and an end date, we need to somehow get a string of dates from these two dates. Now, if you don't understand that dates are formatted serial numbers. If I control shift tilde, that's the keyboard shortcut for general format. That's really the number of days since uh, December 31st, 1899. Control Z. Oops, control, control Z. So that's uh, underline a lot of this trick, that serial number. Well, let's just look. We have start and end, and we need all the dates in between. Well, what if we did something like this? This cell, uh, ampersand is the join symbol. In double quotes, I'm going to put a colon, uh, and then ampersand and this. That's tr I'm trying to simulate like a, a, a cell reference from this uh, serial date to this one. If I highlight this right here and hit the F9 key, notice it gives me 40. 1115 colon 40,133, but it's in double quotes. So really that is, if it wasn't in double quotes, it would be a row reference. And we could use that to, to then use the row function to give us a string of all the date, the serial numbers. Well, since it's text, we can't deal with it. Control Z. I just did uh, F9 to evaluate that. If we use the indirect function, indirect function exists just to take things that are text and convert them back to a reference. I can't evaluate this with F9 because it'll get too big. If I hit F9, it tells me too long, so I can't do that. But I can immediately wrap this in a row. And that is a clever way from a start and an end date to get all of the dates in between. F9, you can see, sure enough, it gives me an array of uh, dates. I'm going to control Z. All right, that little piece right there, we're actually going to do a number of times. So I'm going to copy it. Now, what good is that? I still have these holidays, and then I also have to deal with the because I could just uh, you know do count right now, but that would count all the days, which is a good trick just in and of itself. But we have to deal with the fact that um, the weekend is Monday, Tuesday, and we have some holidays. Well, let's look at the weekday weekday function. The weekday function. Now, it needs a serial number. We're going to slap a whole array of uh, serial numbers in there. But uh, And the return type, you can type that in. But by default, if you leave it blank, we just come here. Weekday by default will say Sunday is 1, Monday is 2, Saturday is 7. So right now, if I highlight this and hit the F9 key, you can see it gives me, sure enough, all of the dates, including the last one, right, should be two because Sunday, the day before, is one. I'm going to Control Z. Well, guess what? We have our weekend is two and three. So really, what we need to do is add all the days uh, less than two and all the days uh, greater than three in this string. And the way you do an OR like that is to add. So watch this. We have our weekday. We'll just say less than this, and we are going to copy this down, so I need to hit the F4 key. right? And right now, that will give us a bunch of trues and falses. right? If I hit F9, it gives me zzzz, and the only ones uh, that are included here are going to be Sundays. right? There's a true. Uh, there's probably another true in there somewhere. There's another Sunday right there, Control-Z. right? So that gives us a bunch of trues and falses. I'm going to copy this whole thing right here, because guess what? We need to do uh, greater than 3, and I'm going to have to put in parentheses, this whole little thing, and then a plus. The reason why is because a plus and a comparative operator in the order of operations of Excel, this gets calculated last, and you have to calculate before you do the plus. So that's why I have to put it in parentheses. Actually, I should copy this whole thing right here, copy, 
and then paste it right here. Now this, we don't want less than 2. We want greater than 3. And I'm going to have to hit lock that with the F4 key and then close parentheses. Now, the beauty of this is we have a plus. We're adding some trues and falses and some trues and falses here. Guess what? Any operation, multiplying, plus, subtracting, dividing, powers, double negative, will convert trues and falses. So we don't need a double negative or anything. That plus will do it. In fact, you can just highlight this zoop, and hit the F9 key. There it is. That is the strings of ones and zeros that we can add. And look. There was a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, get a zero, exactly in accordance with where our weekend falls. I'm going to control Z here. Now, there's one last piece, and that is the holidays. I'm just going to put this inside of a sum product, because a sum product will add uh, arrays like this. We've got all sorts of array junk coming on going on here. So I'm going to um, actually have to put an opening parentheses for the sum product. Come to the end. Now, that's our first array. We're going to have to build another array of ones and zeros for our holidays. All right. And when we do that, we're going to use the same little inside peach, which, which is rows indirect. Uh, copy that to extract the full array of dates from two dates. All right, I'm going to put a close parenthesis here and just control enter. 14 days, but that doesn't include the fact that we have uh, some holidays, three holidays, in fact. Now, watch this. We'll do the holiday part over here just so you can see. Count if. Name error means I typed the wrong. It has a word in there. It doesn't understand as a name or a function. Count if. Well, the thing I want, the range I want to count is all of these uh, cells that are designated for holidays. And I'm going to have to hit the F4 key, because that will have to be copied down to. Comma, and the criteria. Now, usually, you just put a single criteria, but we're going to Control V and p paste this. So right now, what we're saying is it's looking at these two cells, which is the whole array of all the dates, right? as the criteria. And then it's going to look over here. Let's close parentheses. Let's go ahead and evaluate this and see what it throws at us. F9, <gasps> zeros and ones. It's given us ones for the holidays. And that's not really what we want. We want a bunch of ones where the zeros are and zeros where the ones are. You can see there's the holiday, there's the holiday, and there's the three holidays. So I'm going to Control-Z. Control Z. Well, we can just turn that into a true false. Equals 0 is what we're interested in. This construction here spit out a 0 for the day we're interested in. So now, if we highlight all this and hit F9, boom. Oh, but it's back to trues. That's OK. Trues. And we get a false, false, and another false in there somewhere for the three holidays. Control Z. All right, no problem. We put a parentheses around uh, a double negative and a parentheses around that. And now we have our string of ones and zeros if I hit F9. Ah, that is so cool. We can multiply this times that thing right th That thing has takes into account the weekends. And this takes into account the, uh, the holidays. Control Z, copy, and I'll keep that there. Uh, uh, put come over here, come to the end, and right where it says array one, I'm going to type a comma, and then I'm going to paste a control V, the the uh, the holiday part of this, and sure enough, that big formula right there will calculate working days between two days and take into consideration whatever numbers we put here, Monday, Tuesday, uh, and holidays. Now there's other variants on this formula. In fact, I got part of this formula from Excel. Guru's Gone Wild, a Mr. Excel book. Uh, and there's that one does slightly different things. That counts like if you only have uh, one uh, Saturday or as a holiday or something like that. All right, let's Control Enter, double click, and send it down. And sure enough, there we have it. Um, our amazing big formula to count. Uh, and by the way, I have this set up here. If I type a 3 here. Right? Then we have a Tuesday and a Wednesday become the weekend. And this formula updates in accordance with our greater than and less than formula. I also, if you download this, I have choose here, which is slapping in the dates there. And I even have a little uh, formula there. There it is. When we come back in our next video, we will see 
one simple function that's coming in Excel 2010 that will replace all of this and do exactly the same thing. All right, we'll see you next trick.